Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. I'm alive. It's Wednesday. I made it back around. Who would have thought that I could have made it all the way to episode 3,600 and two? Was it two? Uh, come on, things. Uh, you can call the number up there. It's 360-364-384. Get yourself on TV. Uh, you can get onto the Zoom if you go to YDHWM. Dot com. That's what I'm going to be going. Oh, it's pretty hot. Uh, do I have a fever? Every time I get hot, I still think I have the fever. Uh, looks like we got a voicemail from Mr. Ginsu. And uh, let's get onto the Zoom here. I guess I'm getting onto the Zoom and I'm also saying some stuff. Uh, yesterday was Tuesday. I did the program at 8.45, and uh, I, didn't know, I don't know what happened yesterday. I don't really remember a lot about yesterday. I think Freddie was on the phone in the dark, uh, what we were talking about. He was on he was on Zoom, but it was not, like, on the um, the video, if I remember. It was, that was yesterday, and we were talking, talking about something, stuff, things, regular things. It was, like, life, life and... Maybe, I don't know, death? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember at all. Um, I think it was Andrew's last day of staycation, and I, today, all right, well, I'll put that down. Yesterday I did the, um, yesterday I did the program 45, and then I was here, I stayed here. And uh, then I am doing some writing, some recording, and uh, sleeping. And today I went to work. Hey, today I went to work with a mask and a face shield, and everybody, nobody else is wearing a face shield in, in the world. And maybe people are still like, "Hey, you need to wear that face shield." It's good for to wear the face shield because people are dirty. I don't know about but the doing people have got the masks. Like now that we got everybody's got masks, you're touching your face a lot. So it's like, oh don't touch your face, don't do other things. So I put on the face shield and I don't touch my face for hours. And it's weird. It's a weird feeling. I got my new rice cooker in the mail today. I just bought another gar garbage rice cooker. It's hard to balance, so I just keep getting the, the cheap ones, but I think my last one has lasted me many years. And I might have even took it from my grandmother. I'm going to buy it from Walmart. I don't know. But it's been at least a few years. But I was thinking about getting a fancy one. And a fancy one is about $200. And I don't know what it does that's better than the, this one I have now. I mean, they both cook. Maybe it's food or is it the cooker that, that makes it good. But I still just bought another cheap one for like $15. But it's like, how many $15 rice cookers have I bought in my life? Probably only like five, four or five, which is. Let's see if I bought five. Let's say I bought five because this one has lasted me at least like two years, maybe more. So, what year is it? Uh, yeah. So if I well, maybe let's say they last me two years and on average. But then it's like, how many years is the the fancy one gonna last? Hmm. I don't know. 
It's hard to balance. Hard to balance knowing like the, what to get. If you're gonna get fancy stuff or you're gonna get the cheap stuff. Hello, fam. Freddy's on Zoom. Freddy on Zoom. Are you there? Yeah, how are you? There's no video though, right? And I'm talking into like the microphone of my headphones. Sounds good. Um, I'm like more like a phone caller today, definitely. Yeah. But I, I heard you talking about the rice cooker. You're like not not eating. You like got not the best rice cooker. Is that right? You're like oh, there's a, like the, the like better one. You didn't buy the better one. So I I my last one. Stopped. It just didn't turn on. Like I went to make the rice and I plugged it in. No lights. And it was just like not working anymore. So yeah. So I, I just immediately just went online about the next one. And I bought just like the same kind of deal, just like the cheap one without any. I don't know what. I don't know how they work. But they know. So they somehow know. But it's got all the stuff in it. Something to do with weight. Something to do with weight yeah. or heat or something. Because they're not. It's not like it's like a smart machine. Somehow it just does it. But uh. Yeah. I know, I, like, lately, uh, I've been trying to buy the second worst of anything. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm like, I, there's a lot of things where, it's like, you can buy any variation of the device. And, like, I feel like the second to the worst is often, like, a pretty good compromise. Yeah. Because, like, the worst one is just made to be so cheap as, as possible. Yeah, like I, bought, like I bought a weed whacker. I was like, I'm gonna weed, I'm gonna whack all the weeds. Yeah. And then that weed whacker, like, actually sucks. It's like I bought it for fifteen dollars. It's like what? a very small amount of money for a weed whacker. Like a good weed whacker might cost like sixty to a hundred dollars. Yeah. And like a professional weed whacker is like a hundred and twenty or something like that. And like this was fifteen dollars. Mm. Like, mm. like a good deal. And it cuts the weeds, it does, but it's, like, completely inaccurate. They're, like, all, everything's cut at different levels. It's, like, really rough. Like, you know, like, a, a clean cut is, like, you can see that all of the level of the, like, all the plants are the same, and they're, like, really clean or something. Yeah. Not this, not this uh, weed wrecker. It's all, like, different levels, like, fluctuating. Mm. It's, like, rough. If you like go up to a, a like a maybe a dandelion branch or, or a leaf, it's like chops it into a bunch of different pieces. It doesn't like cut it off clean. It's just like it like roughs it up like a like a bread knife or something. It's like a bread knife of yeah. Uh, of rackers. not too good. I. I in that case, I'm like, I'm feeling like maybe I need to get a, a better one. So, I heard you talking about, you're like, oh, the rice cooker. Although, rice cooker is like, what, what is it more than timing and heat, you know? Like, maybe that, maybe there is a spot where you can buy, like, there's certain things like a toaster. I have some, like, totally designed toasters, too, actually. But, like, it, it, the rice cooker is more like a toaster than a weed racker, I would say. Yeah, the rice cooker somehow like it's like not a timing thing. It like knows it knows how if it's not like there's like a timer in there. It's some there's other, not a timer. I don't think there's a timer in there. It's a, some other kind of mechanism. I feel like there's like there's like very few mechanisms and simple appliances. It's like a yeah a thermometer, a thermometer, and a timer. It's like those are basically the two. I think it and has, then like a, a thing that makes heat, basically. It has something to do with like maybe the weight of it or something. Cause like really the weight? Oh no, that would make sense actually. I, I can see that. Yeah, weight, weight, when you time, put, and yeah. But I don't think it does time. I don't think it knows time. Cause like if there's so no weight? time, it like, like weight and heat. Like you can hear it if it was knowing time, you could hear it. Maybe like it's not like ticking or something. And yeah. There's definitely like when you put it in there, there's like the, the thing that's like a spring, like when you put it in there. Uh, 
but I don't know how it works, but like they all seem to be the same. Like it's the same kind of thing up until you get the fancy one. So like the cheap one, they're like forty dollars, but then it jumps from like forty. It's like you can get mine was like like twenty bucks or like fifteen bucks, and you can get one for forty. But the forty dollar one looks like it's the same as the the ten dollar one to me. Cause it's just like one yeah. button, just the same thing. But then you can from the outside, you mean? Cause like uh, from the outside, they're all gonna look the same, right? Like the cheap ones are gonna try to look exactly like the expensive one, but without like the part that makes them work well or something. Hmm. This seems the same, but um. But like the look of the machine is the easiest part to like keep consistent. But it's just like all of them I just have one button. That's why it's just like the thing. You just like turn it on and it goes. Like, yeah. But then like the next level up is like like two hundred bucks. It kind of like jumps from like six to two hundred bucks. And then it's really? like the fancy one where it's got all these settings and all this stuff on it, and it like plays a song when you when you want. So it's like, what is what is that thing doing? Besides to even like whether I want a song or not, I definitely like want less options. Yeah. I want like one option well. Like if it be like the one thing it does well, that's probably good. But yeah, it's like so. It's like the old, the old. I just want it to last a long time, because like this one just this like stop working. I've had this happen like a lot of times. Like the rice cooker just one day just like kicks it. Yeah. And I don't know what it is, but uh, so I'm trying to like. I mean, figure out the math on how many I've used and how many I've bought versus, like, buying this fancy one. Oh, yeah. Mm. And, the, like, is that fancy one going to last me, though? It's like, well, I've, I've, how many have I bought? But I thought, so I, was, I think I was in the middle of the math when you called. I think I had bought about, let's say, I think one every maybe three years or so since, uh, since probably 2006. Eight, eight. So. Yeah. So that's about. Wait, how many is that? Eight. That's been twelve years. Every three. I said what did I say. Every three years. That's four, right? Mm -hmm. So that's about fifty bucks. Let's say fifty bucks. So. How could long could the other one last me? Because that the other one would have to last. Possibly forever. I mean, it's like I have had. Not maybe rice cookers, but other appliances where it's like if you buy the bad one, it like runs out all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you buy the good one, you just use it forever. Like you, you like you stop needing it before you run out of it, basically. Like I'm thinking of maybe like uh, power tools or something. Like I keep buying these craftsman tools all the time now because I've kind of gotten into the idea that. Craftsman tools last a long time, and like we also have some kind of a warranty on them. Where like theoretically, when Sears was super active, like you could like get them replaced if they broke. But they're like they're like made to last more than they're made to be produced. Like I think some things are made to be yeah. used for a short time, and some things are made to like be used for a long time and it's like you gotta get the ones that are gonna be used for a long time well i mean that's what you think but i also don't treat things very well and lose things so yeah like if there's like they're like oh this is a good machine but you need to like do these steps to keep it nice yeah maybe that's not gonna work it's like i would always go to the dollar store like all the time and obviously the dollar store just sells garbage things but I just like would buy like I would buy go to the dollar store and buy like five pairs of scissors. <laughs> oh yeah. I like know that I'm just gonna lose them anyway. I, I feel like it's like two different styles. You know, you have like the the replace and like the maybe repair style. It's like replace or repair. Are you gonna replace it or are you gonna repair it? Mm -hmm. If they're not gonna like repair it or maintain it you might as well just get to the like one that's gonna break because it's like get get like yeah buy two get, like you need one buy two and then like the one breaks and you like start using the other one yeah and then and then like buy another one just in case that one breaks it's like it's definitely 
not the wrong way to do it. It's just like you want a lasting thing or like yeah, the thing. I also used to be going to the dollar store like at least weekly. Uh huh. But now I haven't been to the dollar store since February. And Whoa. I can't imagine like what I was even getting at the dollar store. Like <laughs> Yeah. Like what did I hit? What did I need so many times? It's like I was just like going there. I, I mean I was just going there for fun. I'd be like, what are batteries? To? It's like batteries especially. I'm like kinda know on batteries. I my housemate like I gave him a ride to the uh to the weed store. And I was like, I was like, whoa, the weed store is scary now. Like, wow, this is frightening. But, he was like, oh, can I give you gas money? I was like, I don't really want gas money. He's like, I'm going to the grocery store. I'm like, buy me some batteries. We need batteries now. What kind of double A's? Double A, yeah. I got rechargeable. You don't ever try to rechargeables? I have rechargeable. I got like four rechargeable. I need to buy more of the rechargeable ones, I guess. I I, I don't buy AA batteries because I had the rechargeable ones and I've been using them for years and it worked out. Wow. So maybe that's like kind of a thing that is. Yeah, that's not the like that's definitely a thing that's not the least expensive of the batteries. You know, like rechargeable batteries more expensive than normal batteries. But you only have to buy them once, and then you can recharge them forever. The main reason I bought the rechargeable batteries was because I didn't want to keep buying them, and I knew I was going to be using them. Most I got them like I was using like the Wii Moat. So, like, it was running out, and then I would need to change them out all the time. I would rather have like the devices be using these like battery packs, like. Like with the USB devices, you gotta like plug them in, and then they charge up, and then you only have like the one thing. But if they had like the battery packs, you could like have like three or four batteries. Yeah. And then you switch them out, and then you don't, and then you can leave them charging, so you like never have to have your thing charging. Like, if you're like worried. Oh yeah. I'm worried about having like my phone on all the time, but if like, I think most of the time you, it, it is. So you could switch it out instead of having it that way. But then I just get, get like USB charger battery packs anyway. But instead of just like doing like different proprietary battery styles, like that's why we have to charge our phones is because they're like, we're not going to do some kind of like regular battery where you could swap it out where like that we think it's going to make more sense in maybe commerce or something to like have our own battery that only we have, and, like, I think that it was actually a government thing to make the cell phones have to have the same charging port. Like, you remember, like, slightly earlier than the, like, it was, like, early 2000s and late 90s when every cell phone had some kind of different weird connecting plug that, like, went into the wall, and then pretty quickly after that, they all switched down to, the, like, weird USB 2.5 or 2. Or like maybe three or something. Like it all it all like pretty much homogenized. That was actually the government doing that. Oh really? Because it was. Yeah. Because everyone they were like it made more sense for the business to have their own thing so if you like if you're if you're running out or lost your charger, you'd have to buy one from the company that made your phone. There was like um but Apple still has their own thing. Um, even Apple is like, it's like technically its own thing, but it's like USB 3. I don't know. I think they like, they like went around it by like making their own new standard that not very many other people use, possibly. That's mm -hmm. my guess. Right. I do remember that because I, I had a very specific phone in like 2008. And I had, I had like, a, it was like, I played music and stuff. I had that, that Sony, the Sony Ericsson phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it had music on it and stuff. They still have them. I mean, you can, like, still find them at Goodwill. They're, like, weird. It's, like, kind of strange. Because it goes to a normal plug, but it's, like, some kind of crazy other end. They, like, really got pretty um, creative with their, like, ends that plug into the cell phone part. Yeah. 
Yeah, they should have done like the universal things, but now you can just get like the the USB bricks that would the, that come with rechargeable. Like you can put the AA batteries in the USB brick, and then it's just like, you plug your cord into the USB thing. So you could still maybe do the the battery thing, but it's just not that. Uh, yeah. I'm not even taking my phone out out with me into the world anymore these days when I barely ever leave the house. So. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it looks like all these things. Even I mean, even I got I did buy the rice cooker recently, but it's still almost. Uh, I guess it was before it was like unimportant things and thinking about these things when like there's like bigger issues in the world. But now it's like even more like that, uh, in a weird way. But still didn't buy the fancy rice cooker. Still bought the cheap one, even though I'm not buying anything else. I'm like, what else am I gonna do? But I am cooking a lot more rice. But about the shitty one, I'm more just about a breaking. That's I think the big reason I won't, I don't buy the fancy one though because I think that I'm gonna break it. And that's why I always go to the yeah. dollar store. I feel like the fancy one isn't it fancy because it's like harder to break. Is that not true? They're not harder to break. They're just like more expensive somehow. I feel like it why would like you buy something more expensive if it's like easier to break? It seems like well, it does more things. But for, there's like some like place in the middle because it seems like cheap stuff maybe is just like tough. It's like tougher. I mean, not with tools, but like with like things though, like a computer. Yeah. Like with a computer or something, it seems like a cheap ass, cheap old computer is gonna be just like tough. Maybe it's not gonna do well, but it's gonna be. It's like doesn't do as much, but it's just like t- tougher. And that's kind of how it seems with these rice yeah. cookers because. Like, the one I got is just, like, it's just got all it is, like, a spring and, like, a switch. But, like, the fancy one has, like, a clock in it and, like, a dig- some kind of computer in it and stuff. So. Yeah. I guess it's, like, hard to, it's hard to, like, future-proof a device when it's changed all the time. Like, that's what you really want. You want, like, you don't want the best device of your time. You want, like, a device that will outlast. The changes of time. Yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to design for. Yeah. So I just got the, 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 the cheap one. I think, it, I think it's going to work out for a couple of years. And then, like, in a few years, I'll have to think about it again, I guess. But, like, even if, if it, like, lasts, like, it lasts, like, a really long time, and then it's, like, going, and then you're, like, when do you, you never even get to experience the, 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 like, joy of... Of your ch- choice being the right choice. I feel like your choice. I mean, it, the longer it lasts, the more it is the right choice. But then you like develop a uh, maybe emotional connection to this object, and then the like the longer you get to be with that object, the more it hurts when you finally have to replace yeah. it. But like, so if if if. If the rice, the fancy rice cooker lasts, it's got to last, if it's $200 and the other one, it's got to last for, what did I figure, I did the math earlier. It's got to last for like 15, let's see, 15, three, 15, they're 15 bucks each, and then it's like 30, so, uh, and they last three years. So, yeah. to, to, and to be too much, so to, to be $200, it's got to last, like, so three, oh, no, two, six. Okay, hey, I'm doing some math. Three, they last three years of $15 each, so that's, that's $30, $30 for two, that's six years. Six times uh, three, it's 18. It's got to last, like, it's got to last, like, 30 years to be... Yeah, and am I gonna? No, I mean, you, you hear that's crazy, but it's not for you. It's for your like uh, offspring or something. Like the rice cooker. You have like I'm yeah, gonna, you're gonna like rice pass cooker. the on to your children. Like how old am I? I'm thirty. I'm I'm thirty. Like thirty. If I'm thirty, I'm not thirty, but I'm. Um, I'll be like I'm gonna do this. When I'm sixty. Yeah. When I'm thirty. When I'm sixty, it'll be like wow. It's a good thing I made a good investment on this rice cooker because now I'm sixty <laughs> and it paid it paid off. So like if I buy, if I keep buying these cheap rice cookers this whole time it's like oh I bought this cheap rice cooker it's a good thing I didn't buy that stupid expensive rice cooker what a rip off 
<laughs> yeah, probably like, good either way, I think. Yeah. It's good either way. I'm just like, now I'm just like uh, trying to follow through with the, the, it's like time, I'm just overthinking it on purpose. <laughs> like, yeah, it's hard to know. Um, for me, it's like, I got some tools from my family, and, and then some of them were good, and some of them were like, shitty, and then I, I realized maybe like, shitty tools are not good tools to buy. Yeah. Like, even if, like, they last a long time, maybe it's not as easy to use them or something. Yeah. I guess I'm specifically, I'm not talking about kitchen appliances, especially, like, specific kitchen appliances for, like, an individual task. <laughs> maybe thinking of something else. Like, tools? I'm not sure. Yeah. But well, it's like, with tools, it's just like you just, like, hit, it's like you have a stick and then you hit things with it. You know, yeah. not like, I guess the rice cooker is some almost like that. It's got a few moving parts, but instead of just like a hammer, you're just like, this hammer, like, I would believe you. You're like, this hammer has lasted me for generations. This was my father's hammer. He gave me this hammer. Now I have it. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Like, this is my like, grandfather's rice cooker? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. that be, uh... This is like, probably buy a new rice cooker, I guess. Yeah, like, like, why are you still using that rice cooker? Why are you still doing that? Yeah, you just, like, get a new one anyway every few years, so. Yeah. I don't know what what to get at. Or even, like, these shoes and, like, my, my current, like, shoes have been lasting me for, like, a year. Sometimes shoes only last you for, like, months, but then you got to buy new shoes. Every time I go to buy shoes, I only want to buy the cheapest shoes possible. Or you want to buy some that are going to last longer, but are they really going to? Or are they getting old? And you're like, these things are old. I want to get new things. I'm about to get some uh, some Crocs. Oh. I bought them. I bought some Crocs. For for standing up because you're working? For work, yeah. I got these like Crocs. With, they don't have the holes. You know, like most Crocs kind of look stupid. Yeah. Maybe it's because they have holes in them. Okay. I bought these Crocs, they're like called Bistro Crocs. They're, uh, they're like, they're supposed to be maybe marketed toward chefs or people in, like definitely people in the service industry. Yeah. So they're like comfortable, they're... Uh, A lot of people wear, wear Crocs too. Yeah, oh is that right? Yeah. yeah. I still I, feel like somehow I, I, uh, I, I have acquired some kind of like prejudice against Crocs and well they're goofy they're goofy real goofy yeah but whatever I want comfort I, I, I recently found that I have like oddly shaped toes my like mm. big toes like stick up or something and like make it I like bought these shoes online and they're cool looking shoes and then my my big toe pokes up in the shoe so like if you like put, if I put the shoe on you can see basically the outline of my big toe sticking out over the top of this uh, like shoe. Makes it not look good. And also it's like pressing down on my big toenail, so it's a guaranteed ingrown toenail waiting to happen. Oh no. How, how did you know, you know? So, but you know you know that they're they're abnormal, the t- your toes and not it's like not the shoes or I don't know. I guess I, I like this shoe is what made me think my toes are abnormal because, um, like I guess other people's toes point kind of downward. Like they've got their like normal toes, the uh, the like not the big toe, uh-huh. but then the regular toes, and then that's your big toe. Most people's big toe like point the same direction as the regular toes. I'm looking. At, I'm, toe, I'm not wearing any shoes. Toe. I'm looking at my foot right now, and like, my big toe points slightly up at the end, and all my other toes point slightly really? down. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. So my big toe, when I put on this, like it's basically like a sports sneaker. I uh, you can call it a tennis shoe I think or that's something how, like how that. It is. What? That's just how it is. Like, look at your hands. Like your no, thumbs. No, no, it's not. Other people don't have that, that like, upward turn. What, they, they I have it, though? So, like, turns down. Yeah. I have it, and you have it, so I have weird toes, too? 
Yeah, yeah, weird toes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, but look at your hands. Weird. Look at your hands. Like your thumb, your thumb goes back a little bit. No, most people's thumbs don't go back. That's called a hitchhiker's thumb. That's like an abnormality. Weird. It's weird. What? <laughs> I mean, do it I does mean it, it does mean you're gonna get like picked up if you're like trying to hitchhike. Like no one's gonna pick up someone who doesn't have a hitchhiker's thumb. Like, you're like sticking up straight. You gotta like thumb. have your thumb bend backwards slightly. But other people's thumbs don't bend backwards slightly. No. Yeah, they're like they go straight. Yeah. Am I? Is it, is it just that I only look at my own hands that much? Because it seems like not like if it didn't do that, it would be weird. No. No, it's it's definitely we're the weird one. I guess I think what? so. I want to listen to this Mr. Ginsey message so we can call him because I want to get some. Uh, uh, like second opinion yeah. on this. Mr. Gintu, what way does your uh, toe and thumb go? Yeah. I no, I definitely think, like, I don't think I'm weird in, like, a bad way, but definitely, yeah. like, this shoe was, like, based on some kind of weird, like, 70s sports shoe or something like this is like intended to be like the classic Dude, your thumbs shoe. your thumbs and if you have hitchhikers thumbs then you have like the same kind of toes um i, I can't tell you whether it's related what, but i know what kind of okay, your thumbs they're both ways yeah your thumbs go back a little bit yep definitely well, right now so far all of us have this kind of fingers and toes, so. Oh, that's true. Maybe the other people have the weird one. We'll huh? find out. We'll have to ask Mr. Ginsu. But it's like, okay. uh, just because we're not the weird ones or something, like, people are designing shoes and gloves or whatever for, like, the people who are not us. What kind of, I mean, it had to be some very rigid gloves for that to even make a difference. Okay, the gloves thing might not have been a good example, but yeah. definitely, like, the shoes... These shoes were like so low. That's I, I like, realized when I put these shoes on, my bottom line. Wow. That's why I've been wearing boots for so long. Like Uh-oh. because boots give you like a good a bit of room in your toe. My toe is like not so curved that I could feel like the, the shoes should not make a difference unless the shoe too small. Like the shoe fit like um like in every dimension but <laughs> vertically, <laughs> which is like like. I've never experienced before. Yeah, okay, you've never experienced it, like, you know, I've never put on a shoe yeah. and been like, my one toe is not fitting well in this shoe. Like, I agree. No, I totally agree, but it happened, and it, it was real. All right, here, let's listen to this message and see if we can, we'll get into it with Mr. Ginsu if he, if he can answer the phone. Okay. I'm listening to this Somebody's yapping around. Uh, they pointed a thing around that Trump said, uh. I'm working with Mr. Fauci, and I don't know why his approval levels are so much higher than my own. Well, let me tell you, Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, you spoke up one too fucking many times, and the one time I heard you say, oh, if we don't trust, we don't even have COVID. Shut the fuck up, you fucking cunt. That is what everyone says to you. Whenever you say, oh, testing, testing, too many fucking testings, and we got too much COVID to we trust too much. So shut the fuck up. This is why you don't have fucking COVID ladies, okay? Because you said those fucking words, those fucking stupid fucking words that came out of your stupid fucking mouth. So if you keep stupid fucking bullshit from coming out of your stupid fucking mouth, then your fucking words will go up. Yeah, that's probably true. But if you fucking say, oh, we can't test no more, so that we can um, open up because if we don't yeah, Trump's an idiot. That's why you don't have the like a man. Yeah. You can't. That's why. He's coming back and I can't. Shut the fuck up. You're not supposed to talk about your approval ratings. You don't talk about your own approval ratings. 
Why are my approval ratings so low? That's like me being like, oh, not listening to, like liking my YouTube video. Like, that's not good to do. Yeah, you don't talk about your own approval ratings. That's so crazy to do. Um, the testing thing is so crazy too. I, I sometimes I have thought about like, like uh, the statistics though, and like who like the, I always say that nobody asked me. There's a lot of things like. A lot of weird things that I've had like opinions on in the past that are that are like weird. Like I gotta like hold. Do I hold on to them or do I change them now because of the new circumstances of the world? But it's like I always thought that like gun like gun violence was more or not, not gun violence, but just like murders and stuff was maybe worse in other countries. They always say that U.S. has like really bad murder rates, but I, like I reporting. I thought that maybe the U.S. had like extra reporting. So, Maybe. and that could be the same way with the whole COVID thing, not to support the president in any way, but, um, yeah. All right, let's call him back. Yeah, it's true. I mean, we do know that, like, things are messed up in even our country in terms of, like, what's reported as, like, a COVID uh, death or even, like, so, um, whew. Yeah, who knows? Also, there wasn't that there that there was like something where like they're gonna stop like reporting it, and then now the government has like control over the numbers more than before. Weird. It is harder. Yeah, it's harder to report COVID now than it was before. So it's like you can't really trust the numbers anyway. Three five. He's not. You just gotta stay yeah. inside forever because the numbers are fake. Hey, Mr. Ginter, like, it's a program. You can call us back. You did not get your message, either because uh, you were not speaking or because of a bad connection. To disconnect, press 1. To record your message, press 2. At the end of your message, press 1. Did you Hello? press 2? Mr. Ginter, I'm calling you. I'm leaving you a message. You did not get your message, ah. either because you were not speaking or because of a bad connection. What? To disconnect, press 1. Are to you sure you were speaking? Press one. I was speaking. We did speaking. not give you a message. Ah. Either because oh, I'm hanging it up. I'm hanging it up. That thing was... Yeah, hang it up. Um, no, but it's definitely true, like... I don't know. It, like, if, if the numbers are off, which way are they off? Like, which way would benefit the country uh, more? You know, like, if they're, like, worse than they are? No. It's, like, definitely if there is some sort of a... Um, maybe, like problem with the numbers it definitely has you know, been like hey Mr. mark Gensu? you know it's mark mark oh, hey mark I, how my i'm mark how are you hello can you hear me mark can't hear me you can't hear you me know. hello can you not hear me mark it makes sense that you can't hear me though because something's wrong with the thing maybe mark can you hear me mark no, he can't hear uh, us. Say hello. All right. Well, he couldn't hear you. There's no way to hear you. Um, it should just be the like... The phones are broken? It should just be like in the room, but maybe it's like... I don't know why... Uh-oh. I don't know why he can't hear me, but uh, I thought it'd just be like I in feel the... Like he... I feel like I talked to you on the phone yesterday or the day before at least. Yeah, I didn't change anything. Huh. It's weird. Mark. Well, that makes it's, it is making some sense. Are you on the phone right now? No, I'm, I'm talking to you on Zoom. About on the, on, with your phone? Yeah, with my phone. You want to try to call me? Yeah, maybe. To try to see if it's... Yeah. It's it like work through this. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll like get off and see what happens. All right. All right, I guess we're gonna do a test call to you, and then. This oh, that should be. All right, now for to answer the phone or not, and then we're gonna see if this is working. Well, not Freddy's not gonna answer the phone. 
Well, that's weird. Now it's not even doing it at all. All right, now I'm cl closing this whole thing out. I'm gonna reopen the program. Maybe this will do it. Trying this out, possibly. Freddy didn't, didn't even call you at all, huh? Didn't answer. What? Now I'm trying I didn't to answer. I, I didn't answer. I couldn't talk to you. You couldn't talk to me at all? Wait, I'm calling you again now. Oh, now it didn't go. Now it didn't do anything. What the heck is going on? Come on, phones. Um, I could, I could hear you. No, I could not hear you. Could you hear me? No. Wait, I'm calling you again. I answered the call. It didn't. Oh, now I'm calling you again. Is it ringing? What's it doing now? I closed it and opened it and reopened it. Oh, but you sh Oh, this thing's going, right? The audio for the, uh... The audio for the program is going on YouTube, right? Oh, jeez. So many things. Too many things are happening. Are we even going on? I hope we're going on YouTube right now. Are we on YouTube? What? Huh? Did you look at the YouTube today? I was watching it uh, at the very beginning. I'll look at it now, I guess. I could not hear you. or And you couldn't hear me? I didn't even go through. But right now, I don't know where the, the thing is. Things are getting weird. Where is like even the YouTube like program is like gone? No, the YouTube is there. I'm like listening to both you and the YouTube at the same time right now on my headphones. Uh. The program is not gone. All right, but well, where's the um, the window for it? These weird things are are com are happening on here. On my end now. Uh. Oh wait, oh like this. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I don't know where the window is for it. Oh, I found it. I found the window, but now... You found it? Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. I did it. All right. But what about the phones, though? Now I, I, re I closed the program and reopened it up. That's all. I, I want to try that out first. But then I'm going to call you again. Are you calling me again? I want to try, okay? You're going to try. i got to stop the YouTube. I'm confused. I'm going to call you now. I was really confused by the YouTube. I was listening to it at the same time. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm calling you. We're going to see if this works on the phone. Freddie was hearing two things at once. Not even going through. He said he answered. Why is it? What is going on? What is going on? Well, I'm gonna queue up this message of the future tape at least. Hello? Oh. It's just like gone weird. Things have gotten weird. They've gone weird. Ringing forever. Yeah, yeah. You're in a, you're in the timer. On the, on the, you'll see if you ever look at this. Okay, bye, future. Bye, future. Oh. Uh, 
That's not good. No good. No good at all. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. No? Can you hear me? Not working. Internal. How about this? Hello. Hello. Can't hear. Can't hear. Hello. Hello. Nope. Nope. Huh. Should be working. Should be working. Not working. All right. Couldn't hear Freddy. Freddy couldn't couldn't hear both ways. Both ways not working. Something's wrong. Let's see if he gets back on the zoom. Let's see if that works. Now this is Mr. Ginsu again. I guess we'll not know about the people's thumbs. I gotta find somebody's thumbs. My thumbs go back. Who else am I gonna call? My brother, my grandma? Because it seems like it'd be in the family too. If you have weird thumbs. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three. Six. One. One. Zero. Didn't zero, work, Freddy. Didn't not work. Available. Mr. Ginsu, I'm trying to leave Mr. Ginsu a message again. We did not get your message, nope. either because you were not speaking or because of a bad... I don't know. Well, you called me both times. It was silent. I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear you this time when you called back, so something's messed up. I don't know what it is. Not good. Huh. Not good. Um, not good. I should probably restart the whole computer, uh, but um, it's doing the YouTube right now, so... Well, you can't do that today. Yeah. Because it's a thing. We're going to have to do it after, I guess. So, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have to know about, about anybody's thumbs, but we're going to record a message to the future. I guess I can call Grandma, and then she can just answer and not hear me. Because I think that works. Can like, ring in her house? Hey, and, like, future? Yeah. It's us, the past. You can't hear me something's right wrong. now. Yeah, something's wrong with the phones. Um, We're talking about, like... Things, how long they're going to last versus buying a fancy one that's going to last a longer time. Are you going to break it? Are you going to keep it? Rice cookers and shoes. I got hitchhiker's thumbs potentially, but um, I think that my thumbs are regular thumbs. I think everybody's thumbs do this. Okay, like, if your thumbs didn't do this... Everyone's thumb is different, and, like, is there a regular thumb? I would just say. Okay, bye. It seems like... If my, I'm picturing just people giving thumbs up, like, hey, good job. Right? Or whatever. Yeah. Their thumbs go back. Look at the thumbs on the internet. Like, thumbs up doesn't go back. It's like it's like straight up. Straight up and down. It's like... Like, what do you think? can't see me. But we both... I mean, how abnormal could it be? We both have this thing. This is like... This is thumbs up, right? Like, that's thumbs up. Yeah. And like, this is my thumb. Yeah. Oh, your thumb goes way back. Oh. My thumb on the Oh, your thumb, like, barely goes back. Oh, I didn't yeah, see, you got I weird didn't see thumbs. Before. I was, like, talking to you about it. Oh, that's really oh. weird. Yours is really I weird. I guess I'm the freak, then. <laughs> your thumbs go way back. Wait, It's go way far back, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's way farther than I thought. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's too far. You got a problem? No, what are you talking about? This is the normal, uh, you, you said yourself. Everyone's thumb goes back. This is, like, the normal thumb. But mine only goes back a little bit. I thought, like... That doesn't go back at all. That thumb is like like right angle to the rest of your fan. That is not I thought, I thought it's like going like back straight. at all. But it's not like straight though. It's, it's like not like not straight. Yeah. I and mean, it's like it's like it's like closer. It comes back a little bit. I thought that you meant like every other people had like like straight up like straight up and down thumbs, and that would be weird. But yours goes like way farther back than. That's Hitchhiker's thumb? Yeah, it's like pretty far back. Alright, I think we solved it just from the videos, cause... Sorry, it's like... It's like mostly right angle, I guess. Yeah, yours is like way back. Mine's only a little yeah. bit back, okay. 
Well, that makes sense. All right, well, I'm going to call Grandma, and then she's not going to be able to hear me. But I just want to hear her answer the phone, possibly. All right, I'm on the video now, but I'm just going to like put it back in my pocket like I've been. Okay. Like That's my face, though. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. I see it. You got a hat? I got a hat. Keep out the sun. No sun now. Now you're in my pocket. See if grandma's awake. She was awake for 24 hours or something weird. Hopefully she's asleep right now, actually. Hopefully she's asleep now, I guess, yeah. right? Like, hopefully the grandma doesn't answer the phone because you should be asleep. Well, I guess we don't need to call Mr. Gintz or, I mean, or try to call Mr. Gintz, but uh, we don't need to call anybody else to ask him about their thumbs. Right, because we decided that, like, people with backward-facing thumbs are freaks. <laughs> Or just like, at least like uh, <laughs> abnormal, or at least like in. I'm the, are you sure that I'm the abnormal one and not you? You might be the weird one. Well, at least, at least like we we figured out that you're like a grandma didn't answer and didn't even go to voicemail. Why did it not go to voicemail? Uh, phones are weird today. Um, like. At least it's not the same thing. I thought that we had the same kind of thumb. So oh, yeah, we, we don't have the same thumb. I'm different than you. That's that's good to figure out, though, because... <laughs> you're like, it goes back a little bit. And I was like, what? Going back? So, it's just like, it's going back. So, your toes, your big toes go that far back, too? Uh, it's like, not back, it's like up. Yeah, my big toe is like up. Like, and like, that much of a way, but up. And this is like your so I was like trying to wear like what you would call a tennis shoe. You know, like people have like tennis shoes, and like tennis shoes are like a like a thing you like like it's a tennis shoe. It's like literally a tennis shoe. It was made like after the the original shoe was made for tennis players or something, and it's way too like shallow for my foot. I, my my toe sticks up. It's like your toe starts curving back. At the nail, yeah, basically, right? That's where it starts curving back it at the sucks. nail. It hurts. Yeah, I feel like if I wear these shoes, I'm gonna get an ingrown toenail. So for it's sure. like it's like your toe, your big toe is like facing, basically upwards. Uh, yeah. Like you're, it's like you're pointing up, like with your toe, like yeah. all the time. It's like definitely pointing like straight out and not down. Most like toes are pointing like slightly down. Like the other toes are starting are like down. The other the toes small are slightly toes, down. They're all like kind of like leaning down. But most of these big toes are like either even or down. Mine is up. Mine is slightly up. <laughs> but I think it's like prop like based on the thumbs, I think it's less up than most people. I wonder if we have like different levels of the same abnormality. That could be. I I would not be surprised. Or is it just like people have a range? I kind of always thought that everybody had the same kind of like angles of thumbs and to toes as I did. That's, that's what I always thought too, but especially the more I live, the more I realize that everyone's like variations yeah. are more than I expected. Have you compared your toes like, to anybody else's? Yes. I tried to give these shoes I bought online to someone else and they... Wait... Yeah, they like were actually a different size. So it did did like uh, it's a, yeah, different. Yeah. Your toe uh, was kind of like whoa. Was it like that with your toes too? When when somebody else showed your toes? Yeah, it was. I I thought it was normal. I was yeah, like yeah. these are normal toes. I've got like regular feet, but it turns out no, they're not regular feet. They're weird. Huh. Well, it's okay. It's nothing to be uh you know uh nothing to be ashamed of, I guess. But uh. Oh yeah, okay. I. I'm 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 fine with it. Yeah. But it does suck because I wish I could just like, I wish I could never think about shoes. That'd be like the best thing for me is like yeah. to not have to think about my shoe size. I just like wish I could never think about it. And like, as, has it been a problem a in the past? Because I remember you were talking about like getting shoes online and how they're like different sizes and stuff. And I was always yeah. I was saying 
how I always buy the same size of shoe and it's never been a problem? I think it's like very similar. To, I mean, I think it is that. It's like basically, I, I didn't even realize it at that time, but it's like, this is a thing where, like, there is this shoe size, and like, if you measure my feet in two dimensions, like, width and height, yeah. or like, not nah, height, the opposite, width and length, I would say, I guess. Yeah. Like, two dimensions. I like, these shoes I bought recently, fit me so well I could like wear these shoes but the height is wrong like there's like there's like this third dimension yeah that is not taken in con- into consideration at all in terms of like sizing and I don't fit that like that does not fit me at all your feet match and, each other like huh your feet they, your toes match both each feet? other yeah 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 I put both shoes on but and each one, like, if you look at the cloth top, they're made of, like, cloth. And you can see this, like, weird indentation of my big toe sticking uh, up yeah, like yeah. a little mountain on top in the, like, I feel like in the g- front <laughs> of each of those shoes. Yeah. I'm getting like, into this thing where it's, like... The toes are supposed to be lower, and, like, these shoes are not intended for my feet. I, my feet were never, like, thought about for these shoes. If you keep saying, I'm, I'm doing this thing where I feel like where it's like you keep saying the same word over and over and over, and then it starts to lose meaning, and I'm like looking at my own toe. <laughs> I'm like, ah, how's <laughs> it supposed to go? <laughs> toe, 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 toe. <laughs> toes, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, you're like, ah, oh, what am I even saying? And it starts to get confused about what you. What, Everything like, you need to know is in your big toe, I've heard. Yeah, you just start like repeating, you start like repeating the same word, and then it starts getting weirder, or you're just like. You just start start thinking about how words sound or a spell. They're like, is that really how it sounds? So, so, <laughs> so, so, so. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to get like uh, special kind of shoes. Did you did you ask the internet about your toes? I have not asked the internet about my toes yet. I just like I have shoes that fit. They're all like large boots. They're like work boots. Yeah. So if I like wear, I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing these like red wing like. But- You've never had you've never had an experience where you're like, because I've never I guess I've never noticed that your thumbs do that before, and I've spent a lot of time with you, but yeah. you've never had an experience where you're like somebody's like, whoa, your thumbs are crazy, because that's what I kind of just had. I guess I only have had that experience like in high school, or no, no, like lower school, where like it's like a it's like a child's thing where like took me like, whoa, your thumbs are weird. I'm like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At this point, like with focusing on different ideas or like your ideas are weird or like yeah. you are like an asshole or something you yeah. know it's like you don't care how your physical body is as much anymore but I guess there's still like a lot of examples of people caring about what your physical body is like but yeah huh it does seem like the less the less important thing You're like a, you, you so you've had experience getting shoes like hard time getting shoes your whole life yeah i guess i have had a, <laughs> a difficult time getting shoes my whole life huh, wow um the program's about over I, we, that was, uh thanks freddie thanks for being here today i think the phones aren't working too well so you're the person we talked to we did listen to the mr ginsey message though well it's been fun this is like i, I was like looking forward to once again i was like i'm just gonna watch this episode i'm gonna like see what happens tune into the youtube and then I couldn't help but like click the link and uh, talk because yeah. like that. I mean, especially this one, I feel like you were having a hard time talking to anyone. But like, even outside of it, I was like, oh, I want to like, I have something to say. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get the phones to work after this, but there it is. We made it. Thanks, Freddie. Here's a credit. Right. Good night, program. This is a good time. Yeah. Toast. 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 Um, it's Wednesday. Toes. Well, it's almost August. We're on TC TV channel 22, 11, 30, 2 a.m. Check that out. Yeah, YHWM.com. That's where the Zoom link's at. 360 364 Call and leave that message. Get on TV. Hopefully the phones work. 197 number three. We're not there. Maybe we're going to go back. You should take that off the credits. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Thank you. TCTV, La Bebe, Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, 
Just to kind of watch the state USA. Thank you, and viewers, of you're watching. Thank you. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Bye. Bye.